In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Our reading from the Holy Gospel. According to St. Mark, chapter 11, verses 20 through to 26. Now in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, remembering, said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree which you cursed has withered away. So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. For assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, and he will have whatever he says. Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, Believe that you have received them, and you will have them. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him, that your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your trespasses. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true and faithful followers of yours. Today in the church, we remember a special occasion The visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. If you recall when the angel appeared to Mary as she was in prayer, and he asked her, would she become Mother of God? And of course we know, reading in St. Luke's Gospel, if you read St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 1, verses 39 through to 56, you will read about the whole story of what happened and about Elizabeth, Mary's cousin, who was barren. How she became the mother of John the Baptist. Yes. When an angel was talking to Mary, and she said that could, she could not figure out how this could happen, because as Mary said, I do not know man, but it was by the Holy Spirit. In the same way, with Elizabeth, her cousin, she was pregnant by the Holy Spirit with John the Baptist. So today the church remembers this special occasion, celebrated with the church, and pray and ask the Mother of God, the Theotokos, to bless you. In the Gospel reading today, we read on about the fig tree. If you recall yesterday about the fig tree, when Jesus was hungry, and he wanted to get some figs off the fig tree, and he cursed it. Well, now we read what happened the next morning. Yes, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, of course, remembering, and he pointed out, Rabbi, look, the fig tree which you cursed has withered away. So Jesus answered and said, Have faith in God. 
Yes, have faith in God. For surely I say to you, whatever you say to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done. Yes. Faith in God. When we have doubt, we cannot have good faith, perfect faith. It is difficult, yes. It is difficult. But this is something we need to work on every day. The faith we have in God. The faith we have in the teachings of Jesus Christ. Yes. And whenever you stand in pray, praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him that your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. How many of us have something that's bothering us? Something that has happened to us? We find ourselves with resentment, don't we? And when we approach God in prayer. Yes. We have wronged someone or they have wronged us and in return we do not forgive them. So how can God forgive us our many trespasses, our many failings in life? We need to have faith in God. Believe that all things are possible to him who has faith. Pray constantly, glorifying God. Yes. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen. <laughs>